172 trees that have been marked for removal here because of the emerald ash borer invasion. A lot of people we've talked to say it's sad. The beetles were transported to the U.S. 17 years ago from China. The most serious threat facing America's forests are these imported pests. And by pests, I mean both insects and diseases that are brought in on trade goods coming from other countries. They threaten not only the trees in our forests, but also the trees that are in our yards and in our parks and along the city streets. They're the only threat that can effectively decimate an entire tree species in a matter of a couple of decades. All 50 states have problems with imported forest pests. 63% of the forest land of the United States is subject to increased damage due to pests that are already here, and that doesn't even count the ones that will be coming in in the years to come. The number of pests in the country just keeps accumulating, and without stronger prevention measures, we're just going to have a continual battle to protect our trees. This is a really expensive problem. It's been estimated to cost over $2 billion a year. The costs are being borne mostly by individual property owners and by local governments. The biggest costs are the takedown and removal of the trees that die either in our yards or along the streets. Trees provide us with many services. They cool our houses and our cities. They help us prevent floods. They filter air pollution out of the air. And when we lose the trees, we lose those services. There's 25 million shipping containers imported into the country every year. And those shipping containers contain goods that are packed in solid wood packaging. And pests can be buried in that solid wood. Another major pathway is uh, live plants that are imported for the nursery trade. Because global trade is accelerating so fast, if we don't strengthen the preventive measures we have for keeping these pests out of the country, we're going to see many more damaging pests in the years that come. Right now, a lot of the attention is focused on stopping the spread of pests that are already in the country. But it's much more cost effective to try to prevent the pests from entering the country in the first place. The good news is, that there are effective ways to do this. We know how to shut the door on these pests, we just need to do it. Our team of scientists identified the five highest priority actions that we think we can take to protect America's trees. Tree Smart Trade will shift the burden of the problem from property owners and local governments back to the importers and shippers. First, we need to switch to non-solid wood packaging. Second, we need to minimize new pest outbreaks by expanding our early detection and rapid response programs. Third, we need to augment international pest prevention programs with key trading partners. Fourth, we need to restrict or eliminate imports of live woody plants. And fifth, we need to tighten enforcement of penalties for non-compliant shipments. Some major companies that ship goods all over the world have turned to other materials, and they do this for their own bottom line. There are companies that use pallets made out of recycled plastic, crates made out of recycled or manufactured wood material like plywood and chipboard. The manufactured wood material doesn't pose a danger because in the process of manufacturing it, the bugs are killed. As a private citizen, one thing you can do is insist on native trees for your landscaping. Another thing you can do is not move firewood around. Sometimes wood boring insects are buried inside firewood and when you move it from place to place you move the insects as well as the wood. Speak up. If you belong to like an environmental organization, you can ask them what they're doing about this problem. Or you can send a message to your congressman or your senator and, and ask them why do we have so many pests and what are they doing about it.